Good morning, Internet. Let's answer some more of your questions. First up, Anonymous on Tumblr asked, Why do I always want to be everyone else except myself? I don't know because I don't know you, but if I had to guess, I would say it's probably because you don't like yourself very much, which I might add is absurd. Who you are is not set in stone. If It's not set in anything in any way. Who you are is the sum of your thoughts, actions, and feelings, and is something that you will largely decide right now at any given time. If you don't like yourself or, or you think other people people are somehow better than you, realize that that's absurd because who you are is always up to you. It's always changing. It's not a given. Another anonymous asked, in regards to privacy laws, do you agree with the argument that if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear? Well, sure, maybe you have nothing to fear, but that doesn't mean that you should be comfortable with having no privacy or you should share whatever people ask of you to share. It isn't about having something worth hiding or about, you know, the fear of having people find out. Privacy is about having the comfort to be able to be yourself and to have your own personal space and lifestyle without having it be observed, inspected, or judged by other people. Which I think is a right everyone should have under normal circumstances. So if people say that you shouldn't have anything to fear, I feel like they're just using flawed logic to bully you into giving up your privacy. And lastly, several people have asked me about dropping out of college and about whether it's better to do what you love instead of what society tells you to do. The problem here is that it's not that simple. You have to be smart. The things that you should never be concerned with, in my opinion, are prestige, appearances and what other people want you to do. Decide for yourself what you want to do with your life and leave prestige and social pressure out of the equation when you do. I don't think you're successful if you become a doctor or a lawyer and are miserable. I think that's a pretty crappy definition of success. That said, don't be lazy. A lot of the time people want to drop out of college or quit their job because it's boring or tough. Never quit on something good because you're too lazy or too spoiled. Only ever quit on something because you genuinely think is not good for you or because you found something that you think is realistically better. Basically, my advice in a nutshell, do what is smartest, not what is easiest. And base your decision on what you think will benefit you the most in the long run and not what you want right now. Because if you do the latter, laziness will always win over productivity and that's just not going to get you where you want to go. Also realize that there is nothing you can realistically do in life that you will love a hundred percent all of the time. No matter what you do, there will always be some degree of toughness or you know suffering to put it dramatically. So instead of trying to avoid that, just pick something that you know you think is worth it. But that's all I got for this video. You can post your comments down below. Click the like and subscribe button. Share this video if you really liked it. And I'll see you guys next time.